This is exciting. It is. Start the live shows. New set, new studio. It's going to be amazing. And best of all, we're here in good time for once. 30 seconds to Anton Deck, live in the studio. 30 seconds? Come on, come, come on. on. Hey, oh, what are you doing? You've got the way. It's going on, on the, the telly. Pass it, please. What? Oh, oh. Huh? That's <laughs> 20 seconds to Anton Deck, live in the studio. We're not going to make it. Well, we are. We'll just get your head down. Let's get straight in. Anton Deck! Wait, what's crap? Can I have a selfie? Yes, you can have a selfie, yes, yes. 15 seconds. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Let's just get straight in there and let's get on. Which gown should I wear tonight? David, we haven't got time for this. <sighs> so masterful. Dave, go on the short one. Short for pins. Thank you. I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it. Hang on, hang on. It's Seven. the first live show. We can't go straight and we need a glamorous entrance. Leave it to me. There Five. Is. Four. Thank you. Three. Two. Ooh. One. Well, I'm game if you are. <laughs> this is Britain's Got Talent. Please welcome your hosts, Anthony McPartlin and Declan Donnelly. To our brand new home and the start of live semi final week on Britain's Got Talent! <laughs> All right, now then, our first act tonight is a choir of small children with great voices who all wear matching green v neck jumpers. I don't even know where you get green v neck jumpers and extra small. Your wardrobe. Shut your face. <laughs> it's the St. Patrick's Junior Choir, Drum Greener. <laughs> Two sex, two sex, two sex. Everything okay? Everything okay? We're gonna just stop it there. We've just had a few oh, oh hold technical on, hold on, hold on, hold on. problems, just a couple of technical issues. Our first act of the semi-final. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a new we set, it's a new studio. Yeah. They're, They're still They're still working. Are we ready? Are we ready backstage? Hand Are we fight, ready? Kids. Are you okay? Yeah. Can we go? All okay. They're ready for anything. We're, We're ready, ready to go. Are you ready to go again? Yes. Come on, let's give a massive round of applause. semi-final of the week on Britain's Got Talent. There's eight fantastic acts, millions of viewers deciding their fate, and hold all together two Jordy idiots. Can't wait to meet them. We're here with some of tonight's acts, and can I just say it's nice to, to be finally standing next to some decent talent on the telly. Yeah, hi, guys. <laughs> uh, next up tonight is a crazy Dutch magician whose audition involved putting my head into a guillotine. Do you know what? I've never been so scared. It was funny, though. Funniest thing I've seen in a long time. Which poor idiot's been roped into helping him out tonight? <laughs> it's not, is it? Yes, it is. It's Niels Harder. <laughs> there, come here. This is I use you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is... Power! Power! Magic! Look at this! And magic! Apple! Sharp! Sharp! Say it! Okay, Great Britain! Are you ready to party? Here we go! Oh my god! Yes! Thank you for not killing my friend. <laughs> um, 
Amanda. Yes, well, well I have well. no words, really, well. except I bet Steve Mulhern thought he was in with a good chance to take over from you there, Derek. <laughs> Forever. Important does it over to the end of the show. One more time. Clap yourselves, cos you were very good. Now, votes cost 50 pence plus any network access charge. 15 pence from each phone vote goes to the Royal Variety Charity. A vote for free via the Britain's Got Talent app, which is sponsored by AO.com. You get five free votes per voting window. Voting closes later in the show. Please don't try to vote if you watch the Plus One or On Demand. Right, guys? Now then, <laughs> let's have a chat with some of our talents. St. Patrick's Junior Choir. I'm sorry, Dex normally here. Hello, Ant. What's the crack? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just joining the choir. It's cos you fit the jumper. I fit in the, one of the jumpers. <laughs> I found a spare jumper and I fit. Uh, so, uh, guys, well, well done. If we get through to the final, what are we singing in the, what are we singing in the final? That's top secret. It's top secret. <laughs> I'll find out at rehearsals, I suppose. Yes, you will. You will. I'll find out when <laughs> we all, you know, when we all rehearse. The rest of them know. Yeah. Kyle, your gold buzz at your auditions, uh, I don't know if you know this, has now had six million hits on YouTube. Good to see Very you. good. How Love you that, man. Thank, Thank you, really you for good. coming. That really was good. lovely. It's like Thank looking in a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to work. I've got to work on the facial. Hair. Hey, Jets, don't you think? Don't, look, get together, you two. Get together. Don't you think there's similarities between Deck and Alfie? Eh? I was oh, going to say. Me, it. Look at me. I'll get a selfie of this. Hello. <laughs> there we go. There we are. Thank you, Thank you. Right now, it's time for two legends who always help our ratings. Make some noise for Anton Deck. <laughs> Breaking it! Oh, it's just stupid. What's going on? Oh, you know, oh, this oh, is oh, oh, quality. Oh, get yourself oh, in here. Oh, this is. Oh, I've just realised. I've just realised. Oh yes, yeah, sit yourselves down. <laughs> come on, oh, come on. Why <laughs> not? Hey, steady. Hey. Who's that? Uh, right. Whose idea this was this is... to wear a woolly suit, <laughs> Stephen? <laughs> Uh, he's beefing up. I don't. He's I don't beefing up. That, 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 who's, whose idea was that? <laughs> you know, I wouldn't mind. It's also woolen. Oh, it's the cool wall, though, isn't it? Oh, cool wall. <laughs> this is the cool wall. I don't want a hot wall. By the way, have you got your OBEs with you? Oh, yeah, always honest. Oh, no, yeah, oh, I have no. them. No, oh, no. <laughs> Shame I've got mine. <laughs> so, guess I'm the only ob in tonight. <laughs> right, uh, what did you think of the show? I thought it was uh, good. Enjoyed it. We had a, th a little bit of a rocky start. Yeah, that worried me, you know. I yeah. was like, oh, no, please. But it does prove it's life. Do you yeah, know what yeah. it was? That was their rehearsal track, right? And it, it kicked in. And to, fair play to them. They didn't sing along to it. They knew it was wrong, so they, so they just yeah. let it ride out. And we came in, started again. And but we, just, we yeah. started the show off. I went backstage and kind of. I sat down. We've got little Larry backstage. I sat down. I owned me water. <laughs> and then I was packing a chocolate I, I hadn't even opened the M&Ms. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And then I go, get back on. Oh, God. I've got to go back yeah. on. Do you, yeah, a bit of a rocky start. Do you ever get worried about that now, or is that, have you gone past that? No, I mean, it, it, you know what? It's actually, it proves we're live. Yeah. It proves that, you know, these kind of shows aren't easy to make. And sometimes you have you have faults like that, but you know we're, we're a good professional crew, and you get on with it. And I'll tell you we're something. Tidy it up. This show is. Yeah, I've seen our show, not this show. <laughs> <laughs> now, normally at this point in the show, I walk in and you two pinch me nipples a bit, but we thought we'd try to do something <laughs> uh, you two might actually enjoy. So we put our heads together and we've come up with a quiz to find out who knows most about Newcastle United Football Club. Oh, okay. In the BGMTs, who knows the most about Newcastle <laughs> United Football Club? Quiz. Why I ads? <laughs> Here we go. There you go. Lovely stuff. Perfect. Did it quicker in rehearsals. <laughs> right. Uh, professional crew. Now, I've got to tell you, the crew. questions are hard, so you will both <laughs> have a team member <laughs> helping you out. All now, right. for you, Dick. Yeah. He's played 303 times for Newcastle United, wow. scoring 44 goals. It's your mate, Rob Lee. Yay! Yeah. Here he is. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. Come on, Vargo. Hey, love you. Well, Cheer up. Here we are. Who oh, have you got indeed? Get up, Izzy. Uh, well, Cheer for up. you, Ant, he literally works in your genuine actual corner shop and huh? sells trousers for 25p. It's Asha. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been serving Anton Deck? Nine years. Nine years? <laughs> yeah. So you've still got to charge me nine quid for a full bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah, no, I charge less than that now. Yeah, well, less, less than that now, he said. He's still going to make a killing on it. Yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, are they good customers? They're very nice, very humble, very oh. down to earth, always there to help the community in whatever. Well, good news. Oh, thank did, you. Did they pay you to say they're, that? They're very nice people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> right, let's play. Uh, Deck and Rob, you're up first. Right. Uh, first team to get three right wins. Okay. Um, we'll start off 
with an easy one. Um, in 1958, the floodlights at NUFC Football Stadium were upgraded significantly. But how high exactly were these pylons? And because it's an easy one, I need the answer in millimetres. <laughs> OK, Rob? <well. laughs> so, what are we looking at? We're looking at... Um, Going to have to push you. 55,648. Oh, my life, you are so close. 57,912. Oh, wow. wow. That wow. is unbelievable. Wow. And, and, and Asher, oh, the traditional, traditional home colours for Newcastle United Strip feature two colours. Can you name just one of those colours, please? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rob, cheer up. Black. <laughs> Black, you said black. black, that'll do. Perfect, that's right. right. That's black correct. Yes, well, OK. <laughs> right, you've got to catch up here, guys. Dwight uh, Gale yeah. was the Toon's top scorer this season. Yeah, yeah. But what does he traditionally like to eat every Tuesday for dinner? <laughs> you should know this, Rob. Come on, Ledge. Come on, Ledge. Beans on toast. No, it's jam, roly poly. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances? Right, Anton Asher, here we go. The Mighty Toon Army played their uh, games at St James's Park, but what city is the stadium based in? You're going to have a go at this? You're going to have a go at it, Ashley. You're going to have a go at it. Go on. Newcastle United? Newcastle, Newcastle, yeah, Newcastle. Newcastle, that's right, that's right. Very good. OK, Deck and Rob, last question. Jimmy Lawrence holds the record for the most appearances for the club, but what is the fax number for the club? As it's a hard one, I am going to help you out with this one because you're so far behind. Yeah. It has a zero in it. It is 0191 266 191992. Promise me now that. Uh, did anybody on the team tell you that? No. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that is true because it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> 0191 201 8600. Uh, this for the title, ten million, please. Facts anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> they've got one. Come on, Ash. Get this in your one, Ash. Turn, Okay. Some tension music, please. Don't leave it all on me. I am thinking of a player in my head right now yes. who plays for NUFC. Yes. It rhymes with Mob P. <laughs> what? Sounds like Mob P. Oh, you say, oh, he played, he played, did he? Played, did he? He's not he's, a he's, he's known as a ledge. Bit of a ledge around this pot. Mm hmm. Should we say it? Should we say it, Ash? It's Rob Lee. We're saying Rob Lee. Rob Lee. Rob Lee. I can tell you now. I've always wanted to do that. You're right! Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, Deck, look, you know I love you, but that is very embarrassing. Right, you didn't get one right. All right, boys, come in. Where's the trophy, please? Oh, there's oh, oh, is that a trophy? There you oh, go. God. That is a genuine trophy that you trophy. can keep. Yes! Yes, you that is you. Yeah. There you are. Boys. Deck and Rob, they are gutted. Right. Now, boys, look, he's wants a photo. This non-award-winning entertainment does not end here. No, sorry, Bob. Because over the past few weeks, you've been battling it out in a series of classic TV game shows. It's been unbelievable fun. So now, for the moment, we've all been waiting for. All right, mate, move out of shot. It's a live TV show, I'll tell you what. What are we playing with here? It's Ant and Deck playing games. Love! <laughs> You're loving it, aren't you? Love that. Uh, right, this year we're playing celebrity name game. Yes. Come on, let's do it. Here we go. Yay! Right, the rules are simple. That bloke, when you could have got right? what? <laughs> right, all you have to do is guess as many names as possible, and you can only pass three times. Still quite a lot. Deck, you'll be acting it out, and Ant, you'll be doing the guessing. Oh, right, come on, because we're going to have else now. You'll have 30 seconds to describe as many names as possible. You are not allowed to say the full name, part of the name, <laughs> or spell the name. Or write the name. Very good, nicely done work experience. Hey. We call these illegal <laughs> clues, and you will lose that name. Right, let's reveal the monitor. Oh, yeah. In position, please. It's sweet, isn't it? So That's where the budget went. Right, make sure you don't look at the screen. Good luck. What's right. I'm describing him. Yeah. Oh, no. Let's play. So you're acting out. Am I? Yes. OK. Yeah, I in your case. All right, celebrity name game, lives. Time starts now. She was in Bite of Gross, you've got Ginger Air. Yeah, it's Spooky. Yes, yeah. yes. Next one. Yeah. He's got a manager. You're a manager. Uh, Rob Biddy, yes. Next. Yeah. Very good. 
<laughs> he, he designed Newcastle City Centre. I said it on uh, Prince Got More Talent. He's what? He designed Newcastle City Centre. He's an architect. Uh, Sir John Dobson. Yes! 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 Um, she was a cook. She was a cook. Her first name sounds a bit... No, it, she was a cook. First name sounds a bit funny, isn't it? Like a lady's... Fanny name. Craddock. Yes! Yeah. Next one! Nice! Uh, same first name. Fanny. And then second name. Butter. <laughs> it's a bit... No, I've got a pass, 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 pass. My pass, pass, pass. next. Uh, she was also about to go blonde curly hair. Yeah, uh, Charlie. Yeah, Donna Rae. Yes, yeah. next. Yeah. Oh, she was in the jungle. She's now on Saturday Night Tickle. Oh, Scott oh. Lovett. Yes. yes. Justin, how many? You got five, and do you know what? That's it. You had that's 30 that's seconds that's less. That's you had 30 right. seconds less than Joey and Louie, who got two. We gave them a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. It was horrific. <laughs> right, uh, we'll be playing more Celebrity Name Game live tomorrow night. Beat but that. for now, let's hear it for the brilliant... And, and there! Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, yeah, come on. But there's the trophy. Don't lose it, don't lose it. Now, it's time for a break, but when we return, there'll be more music from Jonas Blue. We'll be chatting to our celebrity panel. We'll have uh, an unseen audition chat. We'll have an audition challenge live. And tonight's so winning acts, DNA and Carl, will be revealing their plans for the final. Do I get to keep it? If you want it. Yeah! See you in a bit! <laughs> this is Britain's Got Talent. Please welcome your hosts, Anthony McPartland and Decker Dumbly. Tonight is a 14-year-old singer who's full of soul. She's not going to falter. Nothing will halt her. She's the girl from Malta. It's Destiny Chuck and Yeri. Just a shame. Her second name didn't rhyme with Malta. Yeah, shame. Shame. So, she is kicking off our second semi-final all the way from Malta. She has the whole of Malta behind her. and She's almost ready for us. We are in the final stages of getting ready <laughs> for the second night in a row. The first act isn't quite going according you know to what? plan, That's ladies and gentlemen. That's one thing about life. <laughs> Don't buzz me! Don't buzz me! <laughs> Don't buzz me! We're just the ringleaders. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Where is this guy? Here she is, all the way from Malta. It's Destiny, Chuck and Yeri. <laughs> Good girl. Um, Simon! I like, I like it when you point at it. Simon! Simon! Yes! Ah, <laughs> uh, look, uh, again... <laughs> That's how we do it! Did it! Did it! Did it! Did it! Did it. Uh, Alicia! 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 Finally, last one! There we go! I know you don't tell everybody, but you can tell us. How did you do it? A magician never tells a secret. <laughs> oh, good girl! Getting nothing. That's you talk. Getting nothing out of her. Well, listen, if you want to see Izzy in Sundays, welcome back to Britain's Got Talent. It's four acts down, four to go, which means we're quite literally halfway through tonight's semi final. He's always been good with numbers. Uh, next up tonight is our golden buzzer act. Yes! He is a comedy magician who's been performing for years, and at his audition, he did a brilliant trick with some salt. You could say he's a seasoned performer. Because <laughs> you said the song. No, I, no, I, I, got, I got it. Oh, you got it. I got oh, it. Oh, okay. It's Matt Edwards. <laughs> oh, ah. Quick, help! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Quick, just grab my leg. Grab my leg. Help me, Dad. This may just look like a little silver ball, but ladies and gentlemen, I call this the sexy detector. I'll explain how it works. What you do, right, is you place the ball between these two fingers and then you place your thumb against your nose and you drop it. And however high it bounces tells me how sexy I am. I'll give you an example. You ready? Leisha? <laughs> Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I am that sexy. <laughs> it's not funny. Would you like a go? And you're a sexy man. Come and have a go. Give out a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. It's really easy, right? Yeah. All you do is hold it against two fingers, yeah. put your thumb against your nose, and drop it. Ready? Okay. Go. 
<laughs> That's awkward, isn't it? I should have used deck. Listen, Anne, yeah. uh, I've got a very special <laughs> present for you. I've got something I want to give to you. Okay. But for this, I need you to follow me. Come up the stairs for okay. a second. Come and stand on this step just there. Okay. Excellent. To your left a tiny bit. Perfect. Stay there. And I have a very... Oh, so hang on. I have a very special present for you, but you have to choose it. For this, ladies right. and gentlemen, over here on this table, I have a little black cup. Inside this cup, and I have something I want you to have a look at. Hold out your hand. Right. It's a dice. Woohoo! Woo Check it out. Just make sure it's an ordinary dice. Make sure all the numbers are different. Yep. If you're happy, say meow, meow. <laughs> Perfect. I'll take the dice. Have a look at the cup. Make sure there's no holes in the cup so the dice can't fall through. If you're happy, say. <laughs> Brilliant. <that'll do. laughs> Watch very carefully. I'm going to take this dice. I'm going to place the dice inside the cup. When I do, Ant will take his hand and place his hand on top of the cup. It works every time. Watch this. Oh, you're good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when I shout go, Ant is going to shake that cup like a crazy lady. Then, whenever he gets the urge, <laughs> he's going to stop shaking. He's going to take his hand off the top of the cup, look down and see a number. He's going to tell you what that number is, and then he's going to collect his prize from one of these. Ladies and gentlemen, over on this table, I have what I like to call the Stick of Doom. <laughs> on, this six, on this stick are six different playing cards. Ladies and gentlemen, and written on the backs of all of these cards yep. is something that I'm going to do to you. Okay. okay. Don't worry about it, Ant. Just shake the cup. Oh, he stopped. Quick, tell everybody what number have you got? Five. A five. What? No one's ever picked number five before. Quick, put the cup on the floor. Quick, grab playing card number five and show everybody. What have you won? Hug. A what? A hug. You want a hug? Yeah. Come on then. Okay. Off you. Hug off you. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You didn't go for it. Don't worry about it. You're fine. What? You can go. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Quite emotional here. You know what, I, I'm I'm just, I, you've really taken me by surprise because that really choked me up. Yes, I just yeah. found... Welcome back to Britain's Got Talent. Now, our last act tonight are a tap dancing group who unleash a buzz before changing their mind and giving them a yes. And nothing wrong with that, no shame in that, no shame in that at all. It's like I always say sometimes you have to be the bigger person. Yeah. It's fantastic. Izzy, down here, brilliant magic earlier on. Have you got ooh, oh. another little trick, quick trick? A quick trick you can show us all now? Yeah. Go on, go on, then. Go on. In this bag, I've got two coins. Yes. Yeah, could you name one? Um, two pound. Watch. <gasps> <gasps> Seriously? <laughs> How have you done that? How have you done that? Right, go on, tell me, how did you do it? Magician never tells a secret. Oh, like I said on the semi-final. OK. <laughs> OK. And Destiny, I thought you were fantastic. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a really, really good show and a tough to... Izzy, well done. Izzy, let's get those tears. That's stock wiped off. Come here. Come here. Don't look, everybody. Don't look. There you go. That's gone. It's gone. Um, how do you feel over the moon? I don't know. <laughs> just, just a bit shocked. I'll tell fire you what, turn around here, look up there. Who can you see on that finalist board? It's you! Hey. It's, yes, it's you! It's you! It's you and Matt. Congratulations. Can you do it again in the final? Yeah. Yeah, yes. you bet you can. You uh, bet you can. Well done to the pair of you. Congratulations, Izzy. Congratulations, well done. Well done. Matt. Thank uh, you. That's <laughs> almost it for most, but Steve Mulhern is waiting for you over at ITV2. With Britain's got more talent. What have you got for a smooth face? Oh, that's the only for that. Come on. Oh, no, he's still back on about that again. Uh, um, there is an exclusive behind-the-scenes chat from tonight's winners at the website. We will be back here tomorrow night at 7.30 no. to do it all over again. I hope you'll come and join us. See you tomorrow night. Come away, Izzy. Come away.
far this week, four acts have made it to the final and three of them perform magic. It's obviously magic week here on Britain's Got Talent, isn't it? Yes, and I think it is. What? Declan, you disappeared with a puff. <laughs> Stop doing that. Get up here. Get back up here. Get back up here. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There he is. And uh, let's welcome four people who are all absolutely magic themselves. It's the Brins Got Talent judges. Up tonight is a lady who's putting female magic firmly on the map. And she says the best decision she ever made was getting rid of the bloke she worked with for years and years and going solo. It's Josephine Lee. My name And come over here. Come, come over here. Talking of the app, as this guy here just was, uh, we're three shows in, and if you haven't got it yet, I'm not sure we can be friends. I know what you mean. See, you get you get five free votes. Backstage news and gossip. Then there's the buzz of it. All sponsored by EO.com. Just download on your tablet or smartphone now. Otherwise, me and you are going to have a fallout big style. Mm-hmm. Now, next up tonight is an amateur act who's still new to show business, still finding his way. Uh, but he's made a bit of a name for himself by teasing us and the judges. Steve Mulhern. No, not Stephen Mulhern, although if the cap fits. No, it's schoolboy comedian Ned Woodman. I soon cheered up because I got to meet my favourite double act. They really make me laugh. Eventually, I had to say, Holly, Philip. <laughs> I've got to go. I'm meant to be meeting Anton Deck in an hour. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way, on becoming OBEs. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> My guess is old, boring entertainers. <laughs> that's good. So that's good news. Let's just get up. <laughs> <laughs> David. Well, you know what? <laughs> this is the... 1902 or 44, 24 or 5. Or from your mother, 6, 44, 24 or 5. Um, can you not do stairs? No? We're there, we'll have we'll, you on in a we'll minute. We'll get you in a minute. Stay there, Jim. <laughs> Next up is a 16-year-old singer from Milton Keynes <laughs> who's Simon's golden buzzer rat. Uh, she took the roof off at her audition. Can she do the same tonight? It's Sarah Okumu. This is a man from Ireland who mixes technology and fancy footwork. He's desperate to win Britain's Got Talent and get his hands on that £250,000. Or, to put it another way, he's an Irish dancer. A dancer for money. And any old music will do. It's David Guinea. <laughs> um, Ned, we whoa, saw whoa, your whoa. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to speak to him? Oh, go on, speak to okay. me. Uh, we saw you roasting most of us. Do you do that back at school? Do you do you roast your friends or are just celebrities? Well, I have an evil alter ego, so if people can take it, I say, but yeah. <laughs> oh, and, and then if you can't take it, you just go, can't take a joke? Yeah. 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 Savage. Savage. It's called, it's called Eddie. That's Eddie. your evil alter ego. And he gets summoned by dairy milk. Does he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, all right. So, another two finalists we have, Tokyo and Ned. We will see them both again in the big final <laughs> on Saturday. That is almost it from us tonight. Stephen Mulhern is waiting for you on ITV2 with Britain's Got More Talent. Stephen, what on earth are you doing in the name of entertainment tonight? Well, what a shocker. You're looking good, boys. Finally, you took my stylist phone number. Tonight, we'll be having fun and games with the judges. We've got Molly from the Saturdays, Ollie Locke from Being Posh, and Mark Chapman from the football. Just like tonight's show on ITV, I'll tell you right now, this is going to be unbelievable. Sorry, we weren't listening. We were spinning. We weren't listening. We were spinning. We're spinning. We're spinning. We're spinning. Uh, there's an exclusive behind the scenes chat on the website with tonight's winners. And we're back tomorrow night with semi final number four. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. 7 30, everybody. Bye. Vicky, can you just <laughs> confirm what number nine was, though? Because I didn't quite hear that. Number nine. Number nine. It was the pink one. Nine's a giraffe. giraffe. No, it's the one after the pink one. A horse? That, that horse. one. Horse. horse. Where's a horse? <laughs> horse. Okay. <laughs>
want to be clear. Look, as I said, you know, you were three seconds away from making... Fish. Making... <laughs> it was a fish, either, fish. From making history there. <laughs> Talent. We've got eight acts, four judges, two presenters. And a partridge in a pear tree. No, oh, and yeah. an incredible prize. Oh, that's a spot it. on the bill at the Royal Variety Performance and £250,000. <laughs> guy have got it, this all to come. We've got it all to come. Any, <laughs> any tips? Any yeah. tips? Yeah, tips. Listen, yeah. lads. Yeah. Keep, keep your good looks as long as you can, like we have done. <laughs> Turn on the charm. Turn on the charm. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll work with that one. Yeah. This is Britain's Got Talent. Please welcome your hosts, Anthony McPartland and Declan Donnelly. Now, last night, Mersey Girls and the Pensionals is booked their place in the final, and in a couple of hours' time, two of tonight's acts will do the same. A shout to the judges. Davis, first Hello. question, have you signed my mum's book yet? No, I haven't. Well, get on with it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, second question. <laughs> have you been practising for now? How much work have you put into this? Oh, we've put so much work into this. We've worked really hard, all of us. You said Good. you practised your socks off. Yes, we definitely I can definitely still see do. socks on your there feet. There are socks on your feet. <laughs> There's still socks there. Somebody's lying. Somebody's got socks on. Uh, next up tonight are an all-girl dance trio who say it's time for a female dance crew to step up. And then step back, then step to the left, step to the right, slide, bounce, bounce. It's called three. <laughs> Welcome back to Britain's Got Talent Live. It's semi-final number five. That's right. Thanks, I've been waiting all week to do that. Congratulations, guys. Well done, Chris. I don't like it. To see, to see TNG characters <laughs> back here for the big final tomorrow. 0904 from a landline, from a wall by the 644-2406. Are you going to board by the app, but not until we've seen the last act of the show? I'm really scared. Get off now, it's get off. TNG For that. Time for another break, but we'll be right. Ghostbusters, what? But we'll be right back. It just shows, you know, there is talent that can come out of Newcastle. I think that's what we take away <laughs> from tonight. But you know what? It was one of those magic moments. Right, it's almost time to find out who's coming back tomorrow for the final because the vote is now closed. Ooh. Short left bunker. Oh. Please don't vote now, it's too late for your vote. And, and also, I've signed your mum's book. Okay. You've done it. That's the big Good. news. Yeah, man, you've done it. I'll bring it up. <laughs> That's a relief, isn't it, everybody? <laughs> it's almost it from us. Stephen Mulhern is standing by on ITV2 with Britain's Got More Talent. What have you got for us up there, Moonface? Well, oh, that's how rude. This is the final of Britain's Got Talent 2017. Please welcome your hosts, Anthony McPartlin and Declan Donnelly. Welcome your Britain's Got Talent judges, David Williams, Amanda Holden, Alicia Dixon, and Sam Cowell.
you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Great variety. I, honestly, I think the final is brilliant. It's anyone's to play for, and it that's is. what makes tonight so exciting. Well, who's going to win it? What's going to happen? Call it. How can you win it? Who's going to win it? It's hard to call, isn't oh it? Oh my gosh, that's why I love it. National Smiling Week. National Smiling Week. Functionality Smiling Week. Let's have a smile for us. Get in, get in, get in. Come on, have a smile. Have a smile. Have a smile. There you go. And if you want to send the pensionalities <laughs> to the Royal Variety Performance, the number to call. Follow right, next up is the nine-year-old stand-up who's taken the mickey mm. out of the judges twice. I tell you what, once this show finishes, I would not like to be in his shoes. They fit you, though. What? His shoes, is, they fit you. He's size three as well. Don't be ridiculous. I'm three and a half. Oh, yeah, he's three and a half. It's Ned Woodman. Not bad. Magician. Magicians are doing so well on the show this year, so I've decided to do some magic of my own. Oh, wait, um, David, um, here I have an envelope. Okay. Could you just please look after this? I just want to thank Ant and Deck for all the money that they spent voting for me to get through. <laughs> the length some people go to just to make themselves look taller. <laughs> Uh, next up, <laughs> or a mind-reading double act. Hey, now, did you know I can read minds as well? No. Oh. Yeah, I can do it. I'll yeah. do it. I'll do it now. Watch this. Go on, then. Watch Go this. On. Right. Hang on, I'm, I might need two hands for this one. <laughs> right. There we go. What am I thinking? You're thinking. There's no way he can read my mind. How does he do it? How do I do How it? How does he do it? Huh? It's DNA. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well done. Well done. Well done. Right. Uh, Who's your voice first? Alicia! Oh, it's a Dexter! 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 Yes! Is he? We've had a right laugh in the studio today, us three, haven't we? Yeah. Messing about and yeah. shouting about and reading minds. Reading minds and playing yeah. magic. I, I read Dex's mind. She did. Oh, yeah. She did. Which was a bit of a worry. <laughs> <laughs> she, she read my mind and guessed what pictures I had on the wall in my dressing room. No way. She did. She got it right. She got it right. Me? Me? <laughs> They're all of David Wallen. <laughs> no. And Dexter's on the seats over there. He's having a great... All right, Dexter. Hey, <laughs> yes. Oh, proud. He really likes I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Oh, see, he's got it. He's four and he loves I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Of course, not sure he's allowed to watch. If you think Izzy deserves... Oh, there you go. We are left with Deliso, Tokyo and... Jess, the public chose you. Uh, sorry, Izzy. Sorry, Izzy, 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 Izzy. Izzy. <laughs> and Izzy. Ooh, she's going to put a spell on me now. <laughs> the public chose you as this year's top three. Oh, but I'll tell you what, I know, I was going to... You actually got five, but we're going to let you keep the six, right? all right? Okay. OK, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. Right, shall I guess, or do you want to describe... My heart's describe? beating in my chest. You describe, you'll be better. They've done it together for years. Yeah, <laughs> but, you know, you... <laughs> That's just a rumour. <laughs> right, it's time for S&M. We're very good friends, Alex. Right, oh, right OK. OK, don't, don't cheat. No, I'm not going to cheat. cheat. <laughs> OK, OK. Oh. Oh, can I cheat? OK. Um, I'll tell me if this out. Right, okay. just tell me when, OK? Yes. OK. In go. three, two, one, go. Uh, uh, she used to be married to Russell Brand. Katy Perry. Yes. yes. Uh, he's a, a judge on the show, but it's not, um, it's not Simon Cowell. David Williams. Yes. <laughs> WikiLeaks, he's, he's in the uh, embassy. Yes, yes! Oh, Mission Impossible, the main actor. Tom Cruise. Yes! Uh, oh, I'm, I'm not Emma from the block. Uh, J-Lo. Yes! Oh, yes. Uh, oh um, a uh, Russian president with a thing like this. Yes! Oh, the president of America with Donald hair. Trump. Hair. Reflections. Reflections in the <laughs> camera. There's no <laughs> You do what I know. No, Gorbachev. <laughs> you saw that in the camera. No, I was concentrating because I memorised them all. <laughs> yeah, <a little> <laughs> there you go. We are the winners. Yeah. Oh, listen up. <laughs> Dear. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's hear it. Yeah. Back to Decadema. Gorbachev. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember them. Right. It is our time for a break. Oh, hang on. Six 
969, the Mulholland residence. Do we have Ben Twilly? Ben, <laughs> ben Twilly, is there a Ben Twilly? Ow! Oh, you idiot! There is no, is there a Ben Ow! Twilly? <laughs> right, but Ben Twilly's not invited, though. You've got the wrong number, mate. But, right, uh, as I was saying, coming up, we'll be chatting to our panel. There'll be more What's music from Pixie Lot and yeah. Anton Powers. And we'll be from Yolwin and Tokyo. Someone stepped on that, so he's not happy. See you in a bit. Ben Twilly!